Hey guys, it's Galactus Dream. Hope you guys enjoying your day, your night, or your morning, or whenever you're watching the video. Um, today, we want to start off by saying Happy New Year to everybody, and uh, may 2021 bring everything that you guys wanted in life to, into it, into existence, and let all the negativity stay behind in 2020 where it belongs. Um, let's start off this video today. I thought we'll do something special, and that's just let's have a look at old school police vehicles or cruisers. From racing champions um, so we have quite a few here as you guys can tell and um, as you can see I have a new setup going as well which is really cool I'm really proud of the setup got given to for Christmas I think it's cool um, but yeah enough of the setup let's talk about it. let's get into it so we have racing champions so these weren't limited to 10,000 a piece um, they were made in 1998 and oh, you get exclusive car offer if you send it through. I'm guessing off available while well, supplies last. I'm guessing the supplies have probably dried up by now. But um, so first one I'll show you is the 1955 Chevy Bel Air. Probably one of my coolest ones as well. So it's completely yellow. It looks like a taxi from a distance. You think, oh, it's a taxi, but obviously it's a police. It is the Toronto Metro Police. The accident squad, which is cool. I love how like the racing champions, all of them are extremely detailed. So obviously in the bonnet, you have the engine detailed uh, painting on the headlights and taillights. You have the siren, rubber tires, and the metal body, which is pretty cool. Next up we have is the 56 Ford Victoria for the Nebraska State Patrol. Um, pretty cool model as well. So you have the Nebraska State Patrol logo just there. Hopefully you can kind of see it. Uh, again, you have obviously the engine. All of them have opening hood, custom, I mean, metal, full metal body, this is number 4,627 of the 9,098. Um, I think they originally cost. I don't think this is the original price. I think this might've been like another shop price, but that's pretty cool. Four bucks, I mean, it's worth it. And then we have the 1950 Ford Coupe Nevada Highway Patrol. Um, pretty interesting looking car. Not a huge fan of the Ford Coupes, gonna be honest. And I, th I think the black, the I mean, the, the black and white doesn't really do it for me. I don't know, what do you guys think? Personally, I don't know. Obviously, like this is 1950, this is 55. Much prefer the 55 shape of the Bel Air, but um, I think it may be different. Another Ford Coupe, the 1955, which is the Georgia State Patrol. Pretty cool, I like Georgia, got all black. Um, for instance, another one we'll be looking at, I just, Compare, we have the 1957 Chevy Bel Air, the Texas Highway Patrol. And out of these two cars, I feel like it's just a better design where it's more, it was more squarish rather than more round. Um, but um, I, I think much rather prefer the, the 57 or the 55 Chevy Bel Air to the Ford Coupe ones. Uh, what else we got? We got, oh, I do like this one. I think it's actually one of my second favorite. That's the reason why I had them both out on display. But um, we have the 66 Chevy Nova, not the model itself, but I like how it's all white, very clean. Um, the only thing you have is the police. You have the number of the vehicle and then St. Louis, St. Louis Metro Police. I think that's just a very clean look for police vehicles back in the day. So this is 66. Can you guys see it? Yeah. And you obviously have the painted tail as well. I, I, I actually like that. Um, some, some of this one, so this is a Dallas, Texas. The 1970 Chevy Chevelle. So you have the police, the Dallas. And then you have the 524. That's pretty cool. Really, really enjoying it. I like these ones. I think these are a pretty good addition to my police vehicles. The 55 Chevy Bel Air. We have the black and blue, the black and white. Chevy Bel Air, obviously you can see the engine. You have kind of almost like a little star suit of the, the color scheme and the hood. Um, the black top of the siren, the logo. Is that a buffalo? Wuyung Highway Patrol. I don't know if I say it correctly. Now we have the Dare Car, the authentic police cruiser. Okay, so the Dare Car is the 97 Ford Mustang. Not a huge of Dare Cars, but look, I do like it though. I, I think, is it this one? I don't know. I don't know. So we have the 96 Chevy Camaro Royal Canadian Police. It's an interesting one. I've never been to Canada, so I'm not sure why is it called the Royal Police. Um, but look, that's pretty cool. We obviously have some kind of guy on a horse. 911, 
and you have the vehicle number which is the 10c4 and last but not least is detroit police i do like myself the plymouth i think the plymouth look really badass as a police car um so i hope you guys do as well i want to get the new york one which is the yellow and blue i think that color scheme is extremely cool haven't found one like i have i found some on ebay but they've been like 30 40 dollars and i don't feel like paying 30 40 dollars for another 30 dollars for shipping and that's just too expensive for one car but um hopefully i can find one soon but that'd be great on addition to my collection but i'll do i do like all these ones so there you go guys that's the the racing champions police vehicles what are your thoughts let me know in the comments Ta-da. we'll go like this spread them out for everyone to see there give me a like if you guys liked it if, if not i'll see you guys in the next video and um yeah.